For being with us for the news at six, the hidden camera investigation exposes a serious problem that today has our local Better Business Bureau issuing a warning to concert goers in Metro Detroit. Eye opening for a lot of people. Our concern investigator Hank Winchester live uh, all about money. Apparently, Hank. Devin Kimberly, it certainly is. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars made off of tickets bought for concerts, sporting events. I mean, just take a look at the LCA, for example. Tonight, big crowds, wings taking on the Blackhawks. But the concert lineup just for this year, I mean, big concerts. Maroon 5, Kevin Hart, Elton John, the Eagles, to name a few. And these concert uh, ticket venues, these scalpers, well, they know that people are going to pay big money. Ticketmaster. It's one of the many spots we go to looking for tickets to big events at LCA, Ford Field, or Comerica Park. But the reality is sometimes you may look at other sites or deal with scalpers who get tickets for events that appear to be sold out. Today, the Better Business Bureau has a new warning for all of us looking online for a deal. A lot of what happens when they're scammed online is they think that they've gone to a reputable ticket broker, and, but in the web but when they actually go to the website, it's actually fake. Right now, you're looking at video inside a meeting of the world's biggest ticket scalpers in Vegas. Here, Ticketmaster allegedly recruiting to get scalpers to resell a large number of tickets. Why? Well, the company, according to this report, allegedly gets a deal. They become pretty good partners for me, you know, doing half a million or whatever. Uh, half a million dollars or half a million tickets? In sales. So, in total sales. Yeah. Ticketmaster accused of using software called Trade Desk that lets resellers buy tickets from Ticketmaster and then post them to other websites. Hidden cameras reveal how it all goes down. I want to know the straight goods on whether Ticketmaster is going to be policing us using our multiple accounts. Uh, no. I have, I have a gentleman who's got over 200 Ticketmaster.com accounts. When the tickets are resold, it's often for profit, which means we end up paying more. And unfortunately, some of those tickets that get sold online, well, they're in the hands of scammers looking to rip you off. Before you buy, check out this website. They can go to verifiedticketsource.com and see the list of the verified ticket brokers and see what ticket brokers are trusted. That's probably going to be their safest bet. Back out here live at LCA in downtown Detroit. So if you're not buying the ticket directly from the venue, from Ticketmaster, a website like Verify Ticket Source is really your best bet to make sure that third party is actually legit. We're live here downtown tonight. Hank Winchester, back to you. And Hank, what are we hearing from Ticketmaster now? And Devin, you know, those close to this story will tell you that Ticketmaster has known for a long time that this has been going on, well aware of the situation, but as of uh, right now has not issued a formal statement about what was captured on hidden camera. Back to you.